Welcome to Crops, Cattle, and Charlie. I'm Aaron Smith, and I'm joined today by Andrew Griffith and University of Tennessee Farm and Financial Management economist Charlie Martinez with the Department of Agriculture and Resource Economics. Dr. Martinez is going to be discussing opportunities in fuel purchases. So just to kick it off, Charlie, during this COVID-19 time, it's doom and gloom, but are there some opportunities in the diesel market for producers? Uh, yes, actually, um, I think everybody's kind of seen, if you've been on social media and watching what everybody does, everybody's always posting prices about how low uh, their fuel has been. And uh, if you're a producer, this is kind of a good time to actually start thinking about and uh, taking advantage of this opportunity. And probably if you have the capability of storing uh, diesel uh, on the farm or, um, you know, anywhere around, I, this is the time to go ahead and go ahead and load up on that diesel. And by the time all the prices start shooting back up, because you know they're going to, um, th it, this by by storing it, it's going to pay for itself. And I think this is actually one of the, the opportunities inside uh, this kind of situation that no one's really talking about. So, Dr. Martinez, are are there other factors that could be affecting these fuel prices? Uh, yeah, there's 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 one big thing that's occurring. Uh, outside of the U.S. that no one's really kind of talking about uh, because of uh, the pandemic time right now. Uh, but Saudi Arabia and Russia are kind of ha having a, a price war. And in terms of when that's going to end, who knows? And so not only are we having uh, prices uh, go down because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but also because of this price war. And so in, whenever that becomes resolved, that's probably going to be a time when we actually start seeing some flattening or increasing back in the oil price and in the, in the oil market. Uh, but until then, who knows? Uh, but uh, once that occurs, we still need to see what's going to uh, be the effect of the COVID-19 uh, whenever this starts starts going away and blowing over. Uh, what that, what's that going to do to the price as well? All right. Thank you. That's some great, great information. Thank you for joining us for Crops, Cattle, and Charlie. We hope you will join us again.